I'm going to take Bob in the second match here this evening of the $100,000 Greater Lexington Classic. And Bob Vespi, who opened with a victory over Del Ballard Jr., will start the match. We saw Ballard throw one like that in the opening match. The 3-9, he missed a little left, and it's gone. Run away, Brooklyn, that trip. Further than that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Plucky to get the head pin. 24 career 300 games. We see uh, Dell had 29. Yeah. These guys can string the strikes, can't they, Dan? <laughs> nice conversion. He is getting a lot better on his spares. You see his eyes after that was completed? <laughs> <laughs> that was tougher trying to get 10. Mm. These guys? Age 33. Bob Spaulding, all business, trying to get something started here, and he'll take the Brooklyn strike right off the bat. What if that little uh, weightlifter pose there or, uh, was for Mr. Vespi? Spaulding looks like the John Hersina of the PBA National Tour. Doesn't he? I'd like to see those two arm wrestle. That'd be an interesting match. I don't know who I'd bet on. That'd be rough. I just watched. That John Hersena. <laughs> he, now he's a strong customer. Yes, John is. He works hard. He oh. works out a lot. For the double on the Brooklyn back to back. He's oh, lined up. My, look at Vespi. He's got to be just the blood pressure's got to be going up. Is he watching? You can tell by the sound that it's a Brooklyn. <laughs> can you really? Sure, it's got that accent. Well, Bob got a few of those last week, so mm -hmm. he can't be saying much as he leaves the three six here. He says, I didn't pull it enough. I guarantee if he'd have got it over Brooklyn and struck, he'd have been right back in Spalding's face. <laughs> straighter and harder. See how the arm swings straighter? Now well, he made two tough spares to start off with. Now he's got to do his forte and that's strike. He's making the spares and can't find the pocket. Right. He's changing his game. Yeah. Better go back to working on strikes, Bob. Yeah, that, uh... Now the lane condition this week, a fair and equitable opportunity, but uh, not easy out there, as you can see. And Vespi says, okay, I'll 360. I'll go to the Brooklyn if I have to. Well, apparently they have to. I mean, uh, no room on this shot. You know, he got it out to the edge. Watch the head pin. <laughs> what hit the five? <laughs> Spalding trying to get one in the one three here. A little more room. Didn't quite get it to the Brooklyn this time, but the ten pin releases and he's left with just the three. Needless to say, neither player is lined up very well right now. That may be the understatement of the summer. Yeah, right. Voss must be over the side here just licking his chops. <laughs> <laughs> Going to go a lot straighter. All right, a spare for Spalding. We asked him, is there any timetable for winning out here? The thing is, is just to keep making television shows, and then sooner or later, you're going to get a break. I mean, I just believe in that. That's the way it's going to be, and all I can do is, is bowl the best game that I can bowl, and sooner or later, I think it's going to come my way. He's already had two breaks tonight. Yeah. He's looking for more. <laughs> well, now, Michael, he's missed left three times in a row. I mean, when does the adjustment come into play? Well, not this frame. That missed further left. Again, the three nine. That's the third time we've seen it by three different bowlers. So did he move left and the ball hooked earlier? It appeared that way, didn't it? Mm -hmm. But you cannot move in and find oil to get the ball to go down the lane. PBA lane maintenance here is oil 32 feet buff to 35. The last 25 feet is bone dry. That has to be a real adventure than shooting double wood. Watch this. He's playing the inside close to the third arrow. Sets it down left to the third arrow and it starts hooking right now. It's gone right at this point in time. Not even for a Brooklyn. Somebody finally gets it in the pocket and leaves a solid 10. That's what he's got to be saying. That was his best shot of the night. Yeah, that was to, to take the lead in the match. Doubles could be tough to come by. 
it's a grind out night, it looks like. Looks like he's enjoying making those spares. <laughs> Except that they, he'd rather string the strikes and not have to shoot them. You know, it's kind of like a, a tennis oh. server, you know, it's serving the ace. He'd rather have that than play the rally. Fespi with eight regional titles to his credit. <laughs> he looks over at Billy Hall and smiles. <laughs> Says, wait a minute, I'm going back to Brooklyn here. In this pocket, solid 10, solid well, now, 7. How can that be? I mean, come on, let's be realistic about this. What? We see three Brooklyn shots and those strike, and then flushing the pocket two hits in a row, and you leave a 10 pin and a 7 pin. Where's the justice? You've been around this game long enough to know that, <laughs> that there is uh, none. Not in, not in bowling. Was it a four pin that climbed up over the top? It was a two pin. Two pin. Second, a third from the left. Watch it go right over the top. Whew. Boing. It kind of wiggled it. Hmm. Yeah, that was the Fosbury uh, leap. <laughs> Boy, he really moved in there and found something. Maybe he just got to move deep enough. He See how deep he moved in on this. Look at where he's sliding. Ball over just about the fourth arrow. Out to maybe about the tenth board. Back into Flush City right there. 19 and a half, I guess, pretty close. Out to 11. Looking now to extend the lead with a double here in the sixth. Moved way left, swung it way right. And lane 17 is just a bit tricky. I remember Del Ballard said that that lane was hooking more than lane 18 for him, but he was playing a lot further right. Last week, you, you had trouble moving in and finding something. Pete Weber was the only one able to do it last week. Really, a master at playing the inside angle, Pete Weber. Well, he can play the outside angle pretty well, oh, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> play all, all parts of the lane. Oh, and there's the opening. Three and the six off the ten. So Spalding with a mistake, Vespi with some hope, and we'll come back. Collins Bowling Center manager, as well as the manager of the other center, general manager, I should say, Don Bundy on hand for this one tonight. Fans here giving them a hard time because they wow, knew it was on they, television. They did, they did. They... Vespi leading by two pins. Oh, he spanked out the ten this time, and Vespi asking the fans to respond a little bit and they certainly did didn't they they're waiting for some strikes to cheer for as he uh, sends it way down the lane comes in half pocket this time and just slaps out the 10 he's very good at that and his uh